Hello everyone, this is Nobleach Mushtack, and today we are here with another main association of math leaks problem from December 2012, meet 3, round 5, arithmetic with a percent, problem 3. Each of the digits 1 through 9 were all used to do this subtraction example. What is the sum of the possible values for b? So here we have this diagram, that's basically someone just doing a subtraction problem, and we're given that every digit 1 through 9 was used. So 2 was used, 3 was used, 9 was used, and A, B, C, D, E, and F all need to be different digits. So that's basically what they're trying to tell us here. So what do we look at first? What I want to look at first is the 1's digit. If we go back here, 9 minus E equals 3. So that means E equals 6. That's, re that's really the only possible case. It's One's digit are very simple because you can't carry from one's digit, so you just subtract the one's digit, and that just gives you equal six. So now we know that six is used. Then let's look at the hundreds digit, because if you look at the tens digit, we get b minus d equals f. That doesn't really tell us anything, but if you look at the hundred digits, we look get a minus d equals two, and that does tell us something. But you also have to account for b minus d equals f could be anything, so we might need to carry in b minus d equals f. So that means that would subtract a by 1. So we get a minus 1 minus c equals 2, or a minus c equals 3 by adding 1 to both sides. So either a minus c equals 2, or a minus c equals 3, and e equals 6. So the used digits are 2, 3, 9, and 6. So that means the digits we have left are 1, 4, 5, 7, and 8. So we have this equation with a and c. So we could guess values for a, or we could guess values for c. I'm going to guess values for c, but it works either way. You could also guess values for a, but I'm going to guess and check with c. So let's guess c equals 1. If we use a minus c equals 2, that gives us a equals 3, which is already used. If we used a, a minus c equals 3, then we get a equals 4, which is fine. So we get this diagram. I took this diagram, and then it said a equals 4 and c equals 1. So you get this. Okay, so now let's look at the tens digit. We have 5, 7, and 8 left. So this is the case where we carry. So that means the top number is less than the bottom number. We use the equation a minus c equals 3, and remember, that's the equation where we carry. So that means b is less than d. Whenever we use that equation, that means b is less than d. That's, that's the important thing to remember here. And that way, um, we can get b equals 7 and d equals 8 from these digits. And then if we carry, we get 17 minus 8 equals 9. So since 9 is already used, that doesn't count. If we use b equals 5 and d equals 8, then we carry 15 minus 8 equals 7. That's okay. Um, or we can use b equals 5 and d equals 7, and then 15 minus 7 is 8, and that's also okay. So the only case that works here is b equals 5. So remember, we were solving for the possible values for b, so we only need to keep track of what b is. So b equals 5. Now, if we go back to our um, non-used digits, the next one is 4. So I'm going to guess c equals 4. If we use a minus c equals 2, we get a equals 6. That's used. Um, if we use a minus c equals 3, we get a equals 7. So we get this diagram. c and then 4. c is 4 and then a is 7. We have left 1, 5, and 8. So this is the case where we do carry, because a minus c equals 3. That means b is less than d. Okay. That gives us b equals 5 and d equals 8. So carry 15 minus 8 is 7. That's not okay, since we that's already used. Um, b equals 1, d equals 8. Carry 11 minus 8 is 3, which is not okay. And b equals 1, d equals 5. 11 minus 5 is 6, and that's also not okay. So none of these cases work. So we just move on, and we can guess c equals 5, because that's the next number in our list. So if we use a minus c equals 2, then we get a equals 7, so we get this diagram. And we have 1, 4, and 8 left. This is the case where we don't carry, because a minus c equals 2. So that means b is greater than d. Okay, so this gives us b equals 8, d equals 4, b minus d equals 4. That's not okay, since that means we use 4 twice. 
b equals 8, d equals 1 means b minus c equals 7. That was already used. That's not okay. b equals 4, d equals 1 means b minus c equals 3. That's not okay. That was already used. So none of these cases work. If we use a minus c equals 3, then since c equals 5, we get a equals 8. Okay, so that means 8 and 5. You get this diagram. And now we have 1, 4, and 7 left. So this is the case where we carry, because a minus c equals 3. So that means b is less than d. This gives us b equals 4, d equals 7. Carry, 14 minus 7 equals 7. That's not okay, because we use 7 twice. b equals 1, d equals 7. Carry, 11 minus 7 equals 4. That's okay. And b equals 1, d equals 4. Carry, 11 minus 4 equals 7. That is okay. So the case that works is b equals 1. So the answer we get from here is b equals 1. So we have b equals 5 and b equals 1. Now, if we guess c equals 7, so the last two numbers in our list are 7 and 8. So we want to guess c equals 7 and c equals 8. If we guess c equals 7, that means a minus c equals 2 leads us to a equals 9. That's forbidden. Or a minus c equals 3 means a equals 10. That's too big. Because remember, it said 1 through 9. So 10 is too big. Um, if we guess c equals 8, then a minus c equals 2 means a equals 10. That's too big. Or a minus c equals 3, which gets us a equals 11. That's also too big. So c equals 7 and c equals 8 gives us no solution. Which means we only have b equals 5 and b equals 1. So it says sum the possible values. So we get 5 plus 1 equals 6 as our answer. And we're done. Our answer is 6. So that was, I think, a very long problem. Usually, I think that this is an easy round, um, just in general, and you can go through the other problems at mammal.net slash problems.htm. It's a lot of, well, it's an arithmetic, and there's a lot of, there's just a lot of arithmetic in these problems. You'll see that there's kind of big numbers here, 56.25, um, I think down here, 28.875, but it's a fairly simple, like, it's just arithmetic, you need to be able to do arithmetic quickly and you need to be able to go through these cases quickly so i think the way i did it um would have probably given you a solution in time if you were are quick at thinking and like like this part i think i explained this too slow for it to be um if you did it at my pace in a competition you would probably be too slow but if you're able to get through these cases within 30 seconds and then you're able to do everything else at p my pace because the, this is just regular subtraction, which I was explaining out in words. But if you're able to do these very quickly, then I think you'll be able to do this in time using this solution. But yeah, there's just a lot of guessing and checking in here. And you want to make sure that you get through each case to make sure you get b equals 5 and b equals 1. So yeah, if you have an alternate solution that you think that is faster to this problem, um, please post it down below. Yeah, I thought that this was an interesting problem because the other problems are more arithmetic and not really casework, but this was definitely a casework problem. So yeah. So anyway, I hope you liked this problem and have fun doing math.